Uh, just follow up on some questions the chairman raised. Uh, how many ships would be in the MSP fleet if the 29 percent cut were to take place? In other words, if we were to fund it to the 3.5 million, we, we believe that all 60 ships would remain, sir, at this point, at least. No. So you intend to negotiate down the subsidy per ship? Uh, that's something we would have to kind of look at. Um, you know, I, that's a, a policy thing we'd have to talk to the Secretary about, uh, for sure. Well, you also talk to us about these things. Certainly. I think uh, the Chairman and I have made it clear where we're coming from on this. We think the MSB program is exceedingly important and that the subsidy level at 5.2 million was necessary. Also, uh, I note that the administration proposes to end the PL 480 program, which I think directly affects the MSP issue. Um, I don't see the logic of that. I think that uh, I don't see the logic of most of that budget, to be quite frank about it, except we're happy to have the additional money for the Coast Guard as long as they spend that money appropriately on uh, the things that we're talking about. Um, the uh, question of uh, Where'd that question go? Uh, there's, we talked earlier about the uh, multi-mission training vessel sure. and the 300 million. Uh, I want to be very, very clear where I'm coming from, and I think this committee is supporting that position that we're not going to buy a foreign-built ship. We're not going to abandon the multi-mission. Um, so what's it cost to build those? Multi-mission ships? A, a single vessel, we estimate about 302 million. If we were to build two or three, it drops down to about 280 to 290. So we would need somewhere around another 300 million over the course of the next couple of years to build two of those multi-mission ships. What is the purpose of a multi-mission ship? What is the multi-missions? The mission, the reason that we're building the ship and calling it a multi-mission uh, security vessel is its primary mission will be as a training vessel for the State Maritime Academy that it would be assigned to. Its secondary mission would be, as we have seen this past summer, it'd be used in a, uh, a natural disaster relief sort of uh, uh, role uh, and the, as designed would have good capability to perform that role. Uh, even better than our ships uh, that and were not purposeful. rusty hulks that are being discussed to be purchased, would they be able to do the multi-mission? <clears throat> they would have some capabilities, clearly not as much as a ship that was purpose-built for that mission, no, sir. Okay. So we got to find a couple hundred million dollars to build the two ships and do it right the first time. <clears throat> right? That, that Correct? Would, that would be the best way to go forward, yes, sir. I'm sorry, that would be the... The very best way to go forward. <laughs> The very best, most wonderful, beautiful way. If we could all, if we could all afford it, yes, sir. I'm learning the language of the administration. Um, we talked earlier about uh, a big, beautiful, wonderful border wall with steel that now has a 25 percent tariff on top of it, so the cost probably went up some. But in any case, at 18 billion, Admiral Zumkoff, you said there was how many metric tons of cocaine did you seize on the high, on the low seas, the high seas? Uh, 233 this past year. My information that I've received recently is that on the entire land border, about 20 metric tons were seized. That's about one-tenth of what you seized on the high seas. Yeah, where it's most vulnerable is where it moves in bulk and that moves predominantly in the maritime domain way beyond our border. So my message to the President is from yesterday, he seemed to be really interested in stopping the importation of drugs, the illicit um, imp uh, of drugs coming into the nation. And if he really wanted to get the best for the money, you'd fund the Coast Guard. It's 10 to 1. You don't need to comment, but I put that out there, Mr. President. We want to stop illegal drugs entering the United States. You want to spend your money in the very best, most efficient way possible. Take the $18 billion, spend some portion of it to rebuild the fences that we presently have. They can be big, beautiful fences or walls, but don't spend $18 billion that way. Spend it where it has the most effect 
which is the U.S. Coast Guard. And you need um, autonomous vehicles, drones, and the like. Uh, you need better capability. You continue to work with the uh, uh, Latin American countries. All of this takes money. And so if we want to get the very best, most efficient way to stop drugs coming into the country, it's the U.S. Coast Guard, not a beautiful wall paid for by the American taxpayers. Enough of that. I think I'm out of time once again, Mr. Chairman. Excuse me for being so blatant. We actually did great compared to the other members today. Uh, <laughs>